Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Mesmerized by Tanoi. As you can see, I'm back with another Halloween video, and I'm a Bambi. <laughs> so I did this video um, just because I wanted to do something quick for you guys for like last minute things. I know sometimes everyone says like they're not going out for Halloween and then last minute they get planned and they don't have an outfit. So I wanted to do something super quick and fun for you people that might not be going somewhere and then turns out you are. So if you like what you see, go ahead and continue to watch. And if you're new to my channel, thanks so much for tuning in. And remember to hit that subscribe button. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys. So I'm jumping right in. I'm just starting with my foundation. I just got any brush just to apply it straight out of the tube. So I'm just um, putting it on once it's all on and blended. I go in with a beauty blender just to make sure there are no streaks anywhere. So once I'm done doing that, I go in with a lighter foundation or concealer, whatever you have, and just put it all over the center of your face. So put it under your eyes, put it on your forehead, put it on your nose, your upper lip, just literally in the center of your face. So once you're done putting that on, you want to blend it out really good. I just use the same beauty blender. You can use whatever, your fingers, just have fun with it. So once I'm done, I go in with the same beauty blender, I re-dampen it, and then I go in and I put a light powder in the same areas. So under your eyes, your nose, your chin, I'm sorry, not your chin, your nose, um, just basically the same center places that you put it. And then, oh, I did put some on my chin, just kidding. So just basically put it all over where you usually put the stuff on the center. And then I'm going in to basically contour, but I'm going to be doing some harsh contouring. So I put it on the perimeter of my face as well as down my nose. And down my nose, it's going to be very, very contoured. Um, it's gonna be very dramatic, but you'll see. So once I'm done putting that on, I then go in and blend it out. And I'm using the same exact beauty blender. You know, I like the black beauty blender a little bit better than the pink one. I feel like it's a little bit softer. But um, yeah, anyway, so I just go in and I blend it down, blend it on my forehead, and I let the color sit on my nose a little bit longer because I like to blend it with a different brush. So as you can see, it's really messy right here, but a trick if you mess up is to get your same foundation and then just go over it and kind of mute out the color. So like my nose is super, super contoured. Like that color is ridiculous. Obviously this is not your everyday makeup. So I like right here, you see I have the beauty blender. I just do that and it kind of mutes out the color a little bit. And then if you still think it's too much, get your foundation and a concealer brush and go over your skin that's close to the line, but not your skin in the middle of the dark line, your skin on the outer corner, like toward your nose. I mean, toward your eyes go like um, blend that area out and just make sure you blend this all the way up to your eyebrow area but make sure that middle line is still there you still want it to be super contoured and super highlighted so then i'm brushing up my brows and we're going to draw on our brows but they're going to be very very bushy so i'm just getting a pencil and i'm just going up and i'm following the natural shape but obviously I'm being very dramatic and drawing them a lot higher and a lot crazier. So I'm just letting the pencil go. This part was possibly the most fun just because my brows looked ridiculous and I didn't have to put any concealer because as you can see, I have a lot of loose hairs that I need to pluck and I didn't have to. So that pencil kind of got on my nerves. So I went in with an angle brush and I just went in with like a dark brown um, brow powder. No, that was actually an eyeshadow. Then once I was done, I went in with a black eyeliner and then I kind of just like made the line a little bit darker just because we're an animal, we want it to be super crazy. So then I'm going in with a coal pencil and I'm just lining my eyes. So just make sure you line them completely close your eyes. Don't leave it open how like some people usually do. And then once I'm done, I go in with a black powder, an eyeshadow powder, and then I just kind of smoke that out. And I just do it on the other eye really quickly. 
Once I'm done, I take the leftover of that powder on that same brush and I put it above my lid. I'm making like a really horrible line, I guess. So then I get that same eyeliner and then I kind of draw down. I want it to be more cat eyed, I guess. So I draw the point and then I close it in though. And then I just take that color and go all the way through and I do the other eye off camera. I'm now making lines. I was gonna put on lashes, but I felt I didn't want to. So I'm just making lines on my face. So basically think Twiggy, but like a hot mess. So I'm drawing these lines all over my face just to give that lash feel. So then I just dust off all the powder and just use any brush that you can and just dust off all the powder off your face. Just dust it all off. And then once I'm done dusting that powder off, I go in with a brown pencil and then I'm kind of carving out the side of my nose, very, the very tip of my nose. And then I'm just kind of coloring a little bit of the detail. Um, I'm not using a lot of color and I'm not coloring in any type of nice as you can see. I'm just getting some color on my nose just so I can outline it basically. So then I draw a line through my cupid's bow and I draw that line down to my lip but I'm overdrawing my lips. I'm not drawing on my lips. I'm going above them just a little. And then just use any brown liner. And a tip is to use a pencil liner because they're a lot softer. So now I'm going in with a smudge brush and I'm going in with a brown powder. And you can use any brown powder just as long as it matches the pencil or it's darker. And then I'm just defining the area that I carved out on my nose. So I'm getting all the way in there. It looks gross having my nose up like that. But I'm getting in there, then I take the line down and you just basically wanna cover up that pencil and then you wanna make your nose just completely brown basically. So I just keep patting that color down and then I go in and as you can see, my nose isn't as dramatic. So I go in and kind of make it dramatic again. So I just carve out that line that I covered up with my foundation earlier and then kind of draw it into your brow bone and then just smooth it out with your finger just a little bit, just smooth it out. And then um, I go and do the same thing on the other side, but just make sure you color everything in. So I colored in my nose and I colored in my lip as well. Then I'm going in with like a bronzing and a dark brown. So I mixed that same brown powder and I mixed it with my bronzer and I'm going where I usually would contour, but I'm going slightly above it as well just because I want this look to be very, very, very contoured. So now I'm going in with a concealer on my lip and I'm just going on my bottom lip for now and I'm just kind of putting the color there um, and I'm just patting on the concealer. So once I'm done with that, I go in with my actual foundation and then I do the same thing. I just pat it on just because you want it to kind of match your skin tone um, and then I kind of like kiss my lips because I wanted it to cut through my lip, if that makes sense. I didn't want my whole lip to be, um, I guess, that dark brown. So then I'm going in with that same yellow powder that I've been using. And then I'm putting it on my top lip and my bottom lip just to um, mute it down. Sorry, my camera cut off, but I just started making a bunch of dots with like a white powder. I actually use NYX's um, white... Um, what is it their base concealer then I brushed the middle down and then that's it I hope you guys liked it. I enjoyed this video immensely. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thank you guys. Happy Halloween